one of the most popular animated shows ever created. Yep, that's right, we are talking about Family Guy. My name is Kasich, and today here at Channel Frederator, we are going to be listing 107 Family Guy facts that you should know. Strap on, everybody, it's going to be one bumpy road. No, 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 no! Number 1. Family Guy is one of the few shows to ever be revived after cancellation. In fact, it was cancelled twice. At the end of the second season in the year 2000, Fox announced that it had been cancelled. They quickly changed their minds in July of the same year and ordered a third season. Then, in 2002, Fox announced again that it had been cancelled. The popularity of reruns on Adult Swim and DVD sales had them bring it back. They ordered more episodes in May of 2004 that premiered a year later in May of 2005. The show has been running constantly ever since gets easier when you get canceled. Number two, Stewie's full name is Stewie Gilligan Griffin. Number three, it costs two million dollars to make each episode of Family Guy. Number four, Seth Green, the voice of Chris, <laughs> has mentioned multiple times that Chris's voice is based on Buffalo Bill from the film Silence of the Lambs. No, uh -uh. Chris even did a parody of a famous scene in the film featuring that character. Number five, the show is banned in Indonesia, Taiwan, Iran, Vietnam, Egypt, South Korea, South Africa, and Malaysia. I wonder who's gonna be next. Number six, Peter and Brian are derived from the two lead characters of a short that Seth MacFarlane developed for Cartoon Network in 1997. The short was titled Larry and Steve and featured a man and a dog. Number seven, in 2009, Family Guy became the first animated show since the Flintstones to be nominated for an Emmy in the category of Outstanding Comedy Series. All right, high five! Hey. Number eight, Seth MacFarlane is a huge fan of the series All in the Family and paid homage to it through the opening of Family Guy. Number nine, Family Guy premiered on January 31st, 1999, following the Super Bowl. Another one of Seth MacFarlane's shows, American Dad, also premiered following the Super Bowl in 2005. Number ten, Bonnie Swanson was pregnant for 116 episodes. Okay, first of all, Bonnie, you've been pregnant for like six years, all right? Either have the baby or don't. She finally gave birth in Ocean's Three and a Half. Push! Push! Get out of there! Get the hell out of my wife, you little bastard! Number 11. Creator Seth MacFarlane was scheduled to be on American Airline Flight 11 on September 11. He had a ticket but ran late due to a hangover, an incorrect departure time, missing boarding, and the flight by a mere 10 minutes. That is absolutely insane. Number 12. Seth MacFarlane originally wanted every episode of the show to somehow center around death. <laughs> Why are you- No, wait! Number 13. McFarlane had also planned for each episode of Family Guy to have an ominous title borrowed from an old 1940s radio suspense drama that had no relation or relevance to the show. Number 14. Bender from Futurama hey. and coach John McGurk from Home Movies all made cameo appearances in the episode It's a Trap. I bet that makes you want to go watch it again, huh? You're welcome. Number 15. In 2009, High Times named Brian Griffin as their stoner of the year. Number 16. The main cast of Family Guy each makes somewhere between $170,000 to $225,000 an episode. Number 17. The Parents Television Council has named Family Guy the worst TV show of the week over 40 times. Number 18. According to his license in the episode Foxy Lady, Quagmire was born in 1948. Giggity, giggity, giggity. That'll make him 67 this year. Quagmire, you look great for your age. What's your secret? Uh, carrots. Sometimes I grind them up into juice or just eat them raw or insert them anally. Number 19. The massive chicken that constantly tussles with Peter... <laughs> is named Ernie. Number 20. Peter has changed Meg's full name from Megan to Megatron on her birth certificate. Number 21. In almost every episode, one character says, what the hell, to another. Peter. What the hell's the matter with you? Number 22. The creators have license in picking when other characters can understand what Stewie is saying. Number 23. William H. Macy auditioned for the voice of Brian. Number 24. Quagmire was imagined as an anachronistic 50s guy. His voice is based on radio announcers of that time. 
a man or a doctor, he told me what to do. He said that. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla walla bing bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla walla bing bang. Number 25, Neil Goldman is named after one of the writers of the show. Number 26, Peter was based on a security guard at Seth MacFarlane's college, Rhode Island School of Design. Number 27, it takes a full year to complete an episode of Family Guy. For those of you who are confused in the comments, multiple episodes are worked on simultaneously. Hope that clears it up, guys. Number 28, there are two versions of almost every episode. The versions aired on TV and the untouched versions found on the show's DVDs. Number 29, Seth MacFarlane was only 24 when Family Guy first aired. This made him the youngest executive producer in all of network television. You go, Seth! Number 30. Peter's boss, Angela, is actually voiced by Carrie Fisher. Number 31. Adam West, who appears in Family Guy as the mayor of Quahog, loves the show. And he definitely gets the love returned in full. MacFarlane has said that Adam is the single most demanded character in Quahog. Number 32. The Family Guy franchise franchise is worth two billion dollars. Money, 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 money! Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. Number 33. Seth MacFarlane has been accused of stealing Stewie from cartoonist Chris Ware. Chris has a series titled Jimmy Corrigan, The Smartest Kid on Earth. The main character, Jimmy Corrigan, bears a striking resemblance to Stewie in both physical appearance and certain personality traits. Number 34. Patrick Warburton is the voice of Joe Swanson. Right on! Let's do it! Number 35. Meg has had three different voice actresses. And in contrast to Meg's unpopularity, the ladies who have played her are all very lovely. In the pilot of the show, Meg was voiced by Seth MacFarlane's sister, Rachel MacFarlane. She was then voiced by Lacey Chabert, who you may recognize from Mean Girls for a few episodes before Mila Kunis took over. That is so fetch. Number 36. Family Guy has found beef with both South Park and The Simpsons. South Park released a two-part episode titled Cartoon Wars that mocked Family Guy and even coined the term manatee jokes in relation to Family Guy's gags. The Simpsons had a Peter Griffin cameo where the character was seen on a wanted poster with the charge of plagiarismo. Family Guy fired back with a scene that showed Quagmire hooking up with Marge Simpson before being discovered by Homer Simpson and then being forced to kill the whole family. At one point, Fox finally stepped in to tell The Simpsons and Family Guy to stop ribbing one another. Eventually, the two shows made up and even had an official crossover episode. Number 37. At one point, Seth MacFarlane pitched the concept of Family Guy as a series of shorts for Mad TV. Number 38. Paul Tuckett Patriot Ale is Peter's preferred drink. Number 39. There are numerous references to the Jetsons and the Flintstones on the show. Number 40. Brian has a tattoo of the famous comic strip character Ziggy. Number 41. A bumper sticker on Brian's car shows that he supported Dennis Kucinich in a presidential race. Number 42. Before Family Guy was a thing, creator Seth MacFarlane worked at Hanna-Barbera. Number 43. In 2007, the creators of Family Guy were sued three times. Sounds like it was a pretty busy year for their legal team. Number 44. Lois was originally going to be blonde. It's actually the reason that Chris Chris is the only blonde griffin. He was supposed to have the same hair color as his mom to balance out Meg having Peter's hair color. Number 45. Seth MacFarlane's favorite Family Guy moment is in the episode The Boom! When Lois brings up how much food they've wasted and it cuts to Peter attempting to feed Tom Selleck beans through the TV screen. Come on, you, hey, hey, hey! None for you, Higgins. You've had yours. Number 46. Seth MacFarlane's favorite Family Guy episode is Road to the Multiverse. Number 47. Seth MacFarlane's least favorite episode is Forefather. Number 48. If you pay attention, you'll notice that Quagmire is left-handed. Number 49. Fox's pilot episode of Family Guy, Death Has a Shadow, pulled in 22.1 million viewers on its first broadcast. Number 50. Family Guy is rooted in Rhode Island which is where Seth MacFarlane went to school. Number 51. I declare this land Quahog. Quahog was chosen as the name of the town in which Family Guy takes place because it was a generic but locally inflicted word. The show producer, Danny Smith, wanted to avoid any conflicts or controversy. Quahog is another term for hard clams, which are commonly found in Rhode Island. Number 52. Seth MacFarlane has confirmed, in a Playboy magazine no less, that Stewie is gay. I 
number 53. Stewie's voice is based on movie star Rex Harrison. <laughs> Speaking for myself, uh, I am a theater actor primarily. Number 54. In the episode Love Thy Trophy, Stewie spells out red rum with building blocks, which is a nod to the classic horror film The Shining. Here's Johnny! It's murder backwards. Number 55. In the episode Road to Germany, there is a clever reference to the pop song 99 Red Balloons. A Nazi scientist is telling Stewie about their hundred oof balloons when one of them pops. Oh, damn. Number 56. For the show's 100th episode special, Seth MacFarlane interviewed people who hated the show. They had no idea they were complaining to the creator himself. Oh, Seth. Number 57. Seth MacFarlane killed off Brian to impart this message to his viewers. Never take those you love for granted, for they can be gone in a flash. Number 58. The episode Extra Large Medium caused a large amount of controversy due to its portrayal of Down Syndrome. Number 59. In the episode Screwed the Pooch. Peter declares that if he were half the father that Brian was, he would know more about his kids, including who Meg's real father was. Brian answers Stan Thompson. Of course, Meg misses this whole conversation. Number 60. Seth MacFarlane has said that the reason Meg is so mistreated is because of a bunch of male writers not knowing how to write for a teenage girl. Number 61. According to his birth records, Peter Griffin was born as Justin Peter Griffin. He discovers this when trying to open a checking account. Number 62. Lois is very unhappy when Peter shakes Stewie in The Giggity Wife. This makes sense when you consider the fact that Peter has shaken one of their other children to death. Number 63. Every fan of Family Guy knows about the fights between Peter and Ernie the Giant Chicken, but not every fan knows why they're fighting in the first place. Are you ready for this, guys? Ernie gave Peter an expired coupon. K the nerve. Number 64. There was a great outcry against the show when it depicted a John F. Kennedy Pez dispenser getting its head shot off, a gag mocking the president's real-life assassination. Number 65. Peter's middle name is Leuven. This is revealed when he meets his real father, Mickey, in Ireland. Makes sense, the Irish love their beard. Number 66. In the pilot episode of Family Guy, the viewer learns that Peter had his first fart at the age of 30. Number 67. In the episode, If I'm Dying, I'm a Lion, Peter wishes to bring back a show called Gumble to Gumble. One can imagine that this is a dig from Seth MacFarlane to Fox because Gumble to Gumble is the first show he pitched to the network. Number 68. In the episode, North by North Coast, if you pay attention to the Passion of the Christ 2 preview, Jesus has a license plate with the letters WWID on it. It's a play on the popular phrase, what would Jesus do? The letters stand for, what would I do? Number 69. In the episode, Model Misbehavior, the Griffins make the newspaper when they win a boat race. In the bottom corner of the paper, you can read, DVDs pause for headline joke, millions disappointed. Number 70. When Mayor Adam West says, I'm the only Mayor West that's in trouble, in the episode, you may now kiss the, uh, guy who receives, it's a reference to former Mayor Jim West from Spokane. He was a strong opponent of gay marriage whose career ended over a gay sex scandal. Number 71. In the episode, the story on page one, you can read, if you can read this, Family Guy is on the air. In the corner of the TV guy that's briefly shown. Number 72. In the episode, Meet the Quagmires, Peter and Brian disrupt history, and Roger from American Dad makes an appearance. Who ate all the pecan sandies. Number 73. Seth Green was the only person auditioning for the role of Chris who didn't use a surfer dude voice. All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. Number 74. Mayor Adam West mentions at one point that he has tussled with super beings before, which is a nod to his roles as Batman in the 60s. You mean precisely, Robin? Number 75. During the Writers Guild of America strike that occurred from 2007 to 2008, Seth MacFarlane joined in and did not finish any episodes. Fox went ahead and aired three episodes when they were only 90% complete without his permission. MacFarlane has since declared
declared this a colossal dick move. Number 76. According to its DVD commentary track, Stewie Griffin, The Untold Story, was originally going to be called Queer as Stewie. It was going to focus on Stewie coming to terms with being homosexual. The idea was scrapped as Stewie's ambiguous sexuality was more mileage for episodes. Number 77. Chris was originally going to be as fat as Peter, but animators decided it would be too depressing. Number 78. For the timer portion of the episode, Petarded, show creators wanted the original voice of Timer, Lenny Weinrib, to reprise his role. You are what you eat from your head down to your feet. They were turned down as his agent said he was just too old. Seth MacFarlane did the voice instead. Number 79. Bree Summer was in consideration to voice Meg, but Seth MacFarlane felt uncomfortable having an African American woman play a white character. Number 80. Seth MacFarlane voices Peter. <laughs> Brian, um, Stewie, hey, Quagmire, giggity, giggity. Carter, Tony Danza from Who's the Boss says, A O A O. Tom Tucker, finish your oatmeal, son. Jake Tucker, my father. Seamus, you want to go out? No, okay. And Dr. Hartman, Kim Bassinger, number 81. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph was held off from airing for a week in the wake of the Sandy Hook elementary shooting. Number 82. The night of the hurricane programming block that included Family Guy, American Dad, and The Cleveland Show was delayed from its original slot due to a severe weather outbreak that occurred. Number 83. Seth MacFarlane's short, The Life of Larry, had a lot of gags that would be recycled in Family Guy, including Peter getting fired, putting the family on welfare and becoming rich due to a clerical error on his first welfare check. Number 84. Kevin was originally voiced by John Cryer, then by Seth MacFarlane, and then by Scott Grimes. Number 85. Mere minutes after Brian died, some fans were already calling that he would be brought back. When the summary for the Christmas episode that year was released, they speculated that he would be coming back that episode. Even more though, fans correctly predicted how it would happen. Number 86. The show has some fantastic celebrity guest stars, including Drew Barrymore, Robert Downey Jr., Patrick Stewart, and Mae Whitman. Number 87. Almost all the animation for Family Guy is outsourced, but in Road to the Multiverse, the Disney segment was animated in-house. It's a wonderful day for pie. Number 88. Meg is the only human member of the Griffin family whose middle name has not been revealed. Number 89. When Peter tries to brand Meg, it's revealed that she already has an AW branded on her by Mayor Adam West. Number 90. Meg cannot taste salt. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe you lived all your life without knowing that fact. Number 91. Due to a rare birth disorder, Meg's heart is located in the same place as her brain. There's a joke somewhere there, I just can't think of it. Number 92. Lois was selected to be on the Olympic diving team, but ended up pregnant with Meg. She later becomes pro-choice. Poor Meg. Number 93. Lois hates the sound of squeaking plastic wrap. <laughs> Number 94. Lois has possibly had eight children. There's Meg, Chris, and Stewie. But there's also Peter Griffin Jr., Dave Griffin, Stewie's funny brother, other brother from the theater, and other sister who may have been killed by Meg. Number 95. Peter is a Star Wars fan. He collects Star Wars collector glasses and Star Wars trading cards. Number 96. Peter can play the piano perfectly when he's drunk. Number 97. In the episode Friends Without Benefits, Peter's Twitter username is Pumpkin Eater 69. Social media is bringing us all closer together. Number 98. Peter was born in Mexico. Number 99. Peter has an iPhone, which is important because if you have an iPhone, that means, you know, you and Peter have something in common. Number 100. In one episode, Peter's ringtone is the theme song of The Cleveland Show. Number 101. Chris's full name is Christopher Cross Griffin, which is a homage to the singer-songwriter Christopher Cross. Number 102. Chris has the same birthday as as his voice actor Seth Green, February 8th. Number 103. Chris and Stewie are the only members of the Griffin family who have yet to be put in jail. Number 104. Brian is Seth MacFarlane's favorite character. Obviously, voices in my head are a legitimate psychological problem for me. Number 105. Brian voted for John McCain. Number 106. Brian drives a 2004 Prius. And number 107. Brian is the only character who Seth voices is using his natural speaking voice. Oh, you're doing the voices, you draggle tail got this now. Hey everybody, I'm Phil Dunphy from Boom Big Pants, and this guy right here needs no introduction. It's Robert Franzese, aka Real, Life, real Life Peter Griffin. You were gonna steal my line.
If you like 107 Facts by Tuned Up as much as we do, you should click here and subscribe to Channel Frederator. Absolutely. If you guys want to get into more shenanigans with us at Boom Big Pants, you can click right here. And here's fact number 108 if you want an extra fact about Family Guy. This guy right here, Phil Dunphy, made me get punched in the face 60 times by the freaking chicken in our thank you video after New York Comic Con. So guess what? Yeah! Revenge is sweet. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video to let us know that you like the video. They take forever to make. <laughs> in the comment section down below, if you have any facts that we didn't say in the video, feel free to post them. And let us know which 107 facts video we should do next. Thank you for subscribing and remember, Frederator loves you.